very lazy, while the other one was very hardworking. The name of the lazy painter was Felix, while the name of the hardworking painter was Dan. Dan always tried to advise his friend to be hardworking and to stop being lazy, but Felix always replied by asking him the question, what has your hard work brought for you? We are both very poor. No matter how we work hard, we are still poor. Dan had no response to this because Felix was right. No matter how hard he worked, he was still poor. Money was never enough to feed Sorry, money was never enough for him to feed his large family and his wife had died several years ago. So the sole responsibility of taking care of the family rested solely on his shoulders. But that did not stop him from being hardworking. He believed that one day the result of his hard work would show. Dan knew it was his responsibility to teach his children to be always hardworking. But he also knew that he could not simply tell them to be hardworking without showing them that there would be a result at the end. He did not want his children to start living a life of crime the way Felix's children were now living. One day, his opportunity finally came for him to be a rich man. But this opportunity did not only go for him, it went to his friend as well. A rich man came to their town looking for painters who could paint, sorry, looking, looking for painters who paint 20 houses for him. Immediately he got to the town and started asking around for painters. The people directed him to the houses of both Felix and Dan. They were the best painters in the town. So the rich man approached them and offered them a lot of money if they were able to pay 20 houses within a given period of time. Felix and Dan were very happy with the job opportunity and immediately accepted the job. They were to begin the next day. Dan suggested to Felix that they should leave early in the morning so that they could get a lot of work done. But Felix refused by saying, you, you can go early if you want. You are a slow painter. In the time that it would take you to paint one house, I would have painted three houses. So go early. I will catch up with you later. So Dan left and went to his house to prepare for the work he had to do the next day. When morning came, Dan gathered all his tools and went to Felix's house to call him so they could go to work together. But Felix refused to get out of bed, saying that it was too early to go anywhere. Dan left and went to begin his work. He worked diligently, and even though he was slow, he managed to paint all the ten houses assigned to him. The rich man who gave him the job was so impressed, but he was also disappointed that his friend Felix had not come to work. So he asked Dan to paint the remaining houses and he gave Dan double the money, the amount of money that he had wanted to give them internally. By the time Felix arrived to work, Dan had already finished painting the houses. He had collected his money and left. Felix felt betrayed by Dan and went to his house to shout at him for painting all the houses. But Dan explained to him that he was not betrayed, he had not betrayed him, rather his lazy attitude towards work had betrayed him. Felix left Dan's house and vowed not to speak to him again, but Dan was not really at fault here. Felix and his laziness were responsible for him losing the job. Chapter 2 Felix became a very famous painter. The rich man who had given him the job spread the news that Dan was a very good and effective painter. And soon, people from far and wide started seeking Dan's services. Mercy, please speak to the microphone, okay? Okay. Yeah, Uncle Frank, please help her first. Right. So that it, she, she does not shift her head from the microphone. So it comes on and off. Okay. Dan soon... 
Tang soon became very rich and he was able to take care of his family members. But Felix remained the same. He did not move forward at all. Felix became jealous of Dan and started plotting ways to get rid of him so that when Dan was no longer Are you are you done? Yes. Okay. So um Dinah do the continuation. Dinah, we are ready. Let's go. Let's do this in and out. Breathe in. Out. In. Out. Okay, so your audience are ready. Let's just do um justice. Please in the phone. Yeah, Dinah, we are listening to you. Do your best. Available. All the dogs will go to the inside. So to put his plan in motion. He ran to Dan and 